Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new tutorial video and today it's going to be broken into two different parts. First off, I'm going to show you how to mass release in Pokemon Home and then secondly, I'm going to show you how to actually transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into Pokemon Home. I'll do timestamps as well for the different parts of this video just so it's easier or if you want to watch both tutorials then obviously just watch the whole video. Uh, but of course, drop a like down below if this video did help you out after watching it, leave a comment what do you think about Pokemon Home and subscribe as well if you're brand new with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off we're going to be showing you how to mass release in pokemon home thank the lord we finally now have this option we can mass release in this game so basically what that means is all of those chunks of pokemon you have in sword and shield just send them over to pokemon home and you can release them very easily but anyway this is how you mass release so basically just go into pokemon Obviously, going to Pokemon uh, Home, do you want to check the boxes in Pokemon Home? Of course I do. So you do that. Boom, connecting the boxes. Please wait. Um, and then, obviously, here is a full box of Charmander that, you know, I don't want anymore. You know, I was Masuda in for it, and I got too many Charmander. So basically, what you can do here is literally just make sure you have the red arrow selected. To do that, you can just click ZR to go through them all. So that's green, that's blue, and then that's red. And then what you want to do is go down to release. But not only that, you can literally click select more Pokemon. And then you can just collect all of them up. Every single one is so much easier. Oh my lord, this is just this is just the best thing ever. It's just what we've all been wanting so, so long. And then all you have to do is literally click plus, which is release all. Are you sure you really want to release these 29 Pokemon? Uh, Pokemon you release won't ever come back. Yes, I want to release them. And then boom, those Charmander have all gone. It is that simple. There's also another thing that you can do as well to make it even easier. And you can go into list view. And what that means is basically you can just see every single Pokemon that you have. So you can go all the way down to the boxes of all these Charmander. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of Dittos. I don't know why I've got so many Dittos. Bunch of Charmander, Litten, so many Litten. Look, oh, gee, why do I have so many Litten, man? So many Rowlet as well. Oh my lord, I got a lot to release. Um, but again, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so basically, I'm just going to go to these. I'll, I'll keep a few Charmander. The Litten is what I need to get rid of. Um, so I'm going to just go to this Litten here. I'm going to click on it, uh, release, and then you can literally uh, select every single one in the box. It's going to take a while to select them if you've got as many as I have. Um, but I'm sure I'll do this at some point. But this is easier than just going into one box. Um, it, it's just, look how, look how easy this is. This would be taking me like, you know, five seconds to do one before and now it's taking me like what 10 seconds to click all like select all of these and then as soon as you've done all those you can release as many as you want release 48 pokemon boom they have gone and then as you can see all the pokemon kind of like go back in order so that is how you mass release in pokemon home it is such a useful tool to have oh my god the time that we've been praying for this it's just been a long long time and then obviously just uh go go back to your normal view and then uh, that is basically that and then you can uh, obviously save make sure you save it otherwise they won't be gone so make sure you save those changes anyway next up we're gonna go on to the second tutorial for today's video how to send pokemon from pokemon bank into pokemon home now my bank is completely uh free of all pokemon i've already sent them all into pokemon home but as you can see from my ultra sun copy i have a few pokemon that i do want to send across i've got quite a few shinies and stuff so i'm just going to send all of these put them all into the box right there uh i just i don't know like these are shinies that are in the wormholes that are not difficult to get at all um, there's some decent shinies here, like the Murkrow and the Eevee and stuff, which I definitely want to keep. I thought I had a Zero Aura in this game, but I don't think I do. There's uh, some more shinies here. These are just all, like, random shinies that don't really mean anything. I don't know where I got all these from, but, you know, we're sending them across because they're sparkly. Um, so I'm going to send all these across as well. Um, don't really need to send that. That's just random Pokemon. These are also random Pokemon. I don't know anything about these Pokemon. I don't remember getting these in the slightest um are there any more shinies i don't know you're a shiny let's get you in i don't need you but uh, i thought i had zero aura but I, it might be in my team so i may have to actually go into my ultra sun game to get that out and then put it into uh pokemon bank but anyway uh that's my pokemon in bank so now i'm just going to quickly save it uh, the 3ds does take a while to save everything and it is a little bit slower uh, of a process but uh it's definitely worth it you're not going to have to do it too many times um really i mean once you've sent everything like i i had to go through like six or seven 3ds games and just put them all into bank, like, because you can't transfer Pokemon from your party into Pokemon Bank. It's super annoying. Uh, you have to actually put them into the PC and then put them into Pokemon Bank, and then you can trade into Pokemon Home. Anyway, connecting to the internet, uh, it's like I say, this is a super, a super simple thing to do. I didn't need to follow a tutorial, but this is basically for you guys that are thinking about getting Pokemon Home, because obviously with the premium version, you 
with, with the free version, you don't really get too much stuff. It's all really to do with the premium version. It's very, very useful to have. Of course, it is a little bit pricey, but you're paying a little bit like over a dollar a month. So it's not really breaking the bank. So anyway, what you want to do is go over to move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Uh, obviously, there has been an update for Pokemon Bank. Just download that first. It's not going to take long. Um, and then that will allow you to then obviously transfer into Pokemon Home. So it says you're about to send some of your Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Please note that you won't be able to bring your Pokemon back to Pokemon Bank. Please check the official Pokemon Home website for details. How big in? Um, so obviously, these are the Pokemon that I have in Bank. These, uh, obviously, like I said, I've only got three boxes for because I've traded everything already. So easiest thing to do is you, if you want to send everything across is just click R because that's all. Uh, and then click Y. Done. Move the Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Yes. Um, and then you have to enter the moving key. So the moving key is over on Pokemon Home. So now we're in Pokemon Home. And all you have to do is click on Move, uh, which is here. Begin Move. Uh, warning, you'll be unable to use Pokemon Home until the move is complete. Uh, do you want to begin Move Preparations? Begin. Uh, and then it obviously says select a box in the Move Pokemon to Pokemon Home option in Pokemon Bank for Nintendo 3D Assistance, which obviously already done. And then, uh, then proceed to the screen where you can enter the moving key. Ready. So moving keys are only valid for three minutes. Enter the key into Pokemon Bank as soon as you can. Once the moving key is active, you won't be able to go back until it expires. Do you want to create a moving key? I do. So display. So that is the moving key. So now back on the 3DS, we have to put this moving key in. So it's X, uh, P, A, H. Of course, this moving key will um, go in three minutes. So it's fine to show you guys. And it says 9, F, H, U. Uh, and then it's N, Q, T, C totally cool so you and then ev that was the worst thing i've ever said uh, ev c v okay the moving key has been confirmed successfully uh, the moving key has been entered into pokemon bank successfully move preparations will begin you'll be unable to use pokemon home until the move is complete it does not take long it does not take long at all um so that's pokemon bank done you don't need that anymore that's done they're all being sent over to pokemon home i think it took about um a minute last night when i've sent it over like 2,000 Pokemon, so I don't think sending a couple boxes was going to take that long at all. Logging into Pokemon Home, is it already done? It's very fast. Like, it's a very, very fast process. A move is currently in progress. Okay, so that's just still doing that. Uh, I will just simply cut to when they have all moved across. Okay, so here we are. It took a couple minutes to do it, and it says, uh, move preparation is complete. There are 53 Pokemon that can be moved. How would you like to move them to boxes into Pokemon Home? All boxes as they are. Uh, easiest one to do, uh, unless obviously you want to sort it out properly and stuff. The Pokemon in the Pokemon Bank boxes will be moved as is. Do you want to save your progress? Of course I want to save my progress. Now saving. Please don't close Pokemon Home. You saved your progress. Pokemon will move from Pokemon Bank to your boxes in Pokemon Home. So now we go into uh, Pokemon Home. Uh, it's right here and then i will be able to see the three boxes uh, that i have transferred across obviously they'll have all the shinies and stuff i don't actually know what number it's going to be i think it would just be the closest box to here maybe you can kind of see in the bottom left like what the pokemon are is it this box it might be this is it this box i don't think it's this box is it i don't really remember it may be this yeah it's these two box yeah okay so this was this was the first box I sent. So these are obviously a few shinies here. I uh, got my Noivern there. I uh, got the Zera Aura. Uh, got an Execute Lads on tour. I don't remember getting that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I've got Lads on tour. And then we have a few more uh, Pokemon here that I did send. Are these the ones I sent across? I feel like they were. I did send a Mur Murkrow across, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, and then these were other ones as well. I don't know where I got the Muk from. Um, so, yes, that is pretty much how you... I don't remember getting this. I don't remember getting any of these, to be fair. A lot of them are, like, different arts and uh, OT, arts, OTs, so I'll just have to get rid of those. Um, but, yeah, that is basically how you transfer from Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Uh, you know, if it did, be sure to leave a like. Uh, it really does help out. Uh, any other questions about Pokemon Home, I'd love to uh, answer. I'll make videos on. Uh, I will probably be making a video on how to do Wonder Trades and stuff in GTS, although that's pretty much just self-explanatory i think that's just available on the mobile copy uh although the mobile app isn't actually out on my phone yet so that kind of sucks for anyone asking why pokemon go is not available yet they, they've just come out and said that it's not available yet like i don't know when it's going to be available hopefully soon uh, but yeah pokemon go is not available to uh transfer with pokemon home yet but i'm sure it'll come out at some point but that is going to be everything for today's video thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like like i say leave a comment subscribe everything like that Thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.